This video is going to show you how to use VBA to put bars on your add-in tab. With this shortcut it opens bars for a series of macros. Control shift p is another subroutine that opens a pop-up menu with all shortcuts to macros. Control shift t shows all the IDs that are on the standard toolbar. How can you display them? And Control shift f prints out the face IDs of all the icons on the bars. So in Visual Basic we created a module macros that has a series of macros. I, I won't explain them, they are very simple ones. How do you insert a sheet, create a calendar, freezing panes, change the dollar format, split your screen, paste values, time stamp, how do you insert timesheets, etc. Those are the macros. They are in the module that I call macros. Then in run macros we put two subroutines that the one that opens bars on an add-in tab and another one opens a pop-up menu and the third module is going to do IDs. So let's go to run macros and before I do that the last one has all the shortcuts in this workbook. Let me show you that first. In this workbook I started the workbook object with the event sheet activate. When someone goes to another sheet it displays a message box that gives you the shortcut options. Let's go to the module run macros. I declared a constant variable of the string type that has all the names of the macros or subroutines that I just showed you in the other module. It's just a series of names, as many as you want. Then we declared two global variables that I can use in multiple subs. And one is of the command bar pop-up type, one of the command bar control type, another one is the command bar and command bar button. Then we are going to do this first sub. How do you create all those bars? I declare a variant variable, an integer variable and another variant one. V the variant one is going to hold whatever comes out of the function array and that is a bunch of ID numbers. How do I get them? I will show you that later in the next module. Then we split as macros. Remember as macros was a series of names separated by commas. So we split them at the comma and store that in an array. Variant Arrays can hold arrays. They are not arrays yet, but they can hold arrays. Then if I don't have a bar yet, then I'm going to add to the collection of command bars one that is called macros and it's of the bar floating type. And the last argument tells you is it temporary or not. I made it temporary true, so when I close this file it will automatically delete that bar. Make sure that it's visible. Then we are going to loop through all the elements in the array v array, that's the name of the macros. We add to the collection of controls on that bar item a control button. Instead of adding a specific ID I am using the ID that came out of this array. Those are the numbers that I will show you later how I found them. Then I make sure that, it, that the style of that bar item is a button icon. I put a tooltip text on there that comes out of the array. That is the name of the macros. When the action kicks in, when someone clicks on that button, I want to run that macro with that specific name and the caption is also v array. 
next I, and if, etc. That is the bars one. Now the pop-up menus. That sub is called pop-up list. Again, it has an array of all the macro names. That's why S macros was declared global, way on top. I add to the collection of command bars a new one of the bar pop-up type, temporary again. I loop through all the arrays of the macro names. I add one, the caption is this, on action I run that macro. And show that O bar as a pop-up item. Then finally, in show IDs, we have two subs. One that gives you all the IDs of the command bars, the standard command bar. So we loop through all the elements. We count how many controls there are in the command bar standard. And we put that in a string type variable. And later on we display that string type variable in a message box. Then I would like to know what are the numbers that come with specific icons. So I, uh, I use insert sheet, that is a macro that we created already, I created already, it is in the module macros, a very simple one. If there is an error, resume next. Add to the collection of command bar one of the bar floating type, and again temporary. Set O bar control to a new control on O bar of the control button type. Do a loop until I is 300. I will just do 300 icons. You can do many more, but that is more time consuming. And each time I bring up the variable n by 1. For I'm using that later on here to determine in which cell do I want to place that icon and its number. Then we look for J from 1 to 15, so I'm going to put it, put it in 15 columns. We bring I up by 1 all the time. We take the face ID of that number. We copy that face. We paste it into cell 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in another column. And we put in J the value of that icon. We loop until I is 30, and at the end we delete O bar. We don't really need it. It's just a display of all the icons with their number, their face ID. So now when we run all of this, remember when we go to another sheet, we will get the shortcuts. Control Shift B opens the bars on the Add In tab. There is no Add In tab until we run that sub. Control Shift B. Notice that Add Ins now is there. When I go there or when I keep it open, then you will see that here are the icons. And they all have a tooltip text. It says what that icon that does. So if I click, for instance, on this one, it creates a calendar. When I go to another sheet, it will tell you again what the shortcut is. We are going to make a pop-up menu, Control shift p wherever you are, Control shift p And you will see these are the macros you can have. Okay. So, uh, for instance, it's, it allows you to, uh, to freeze the panes or to split the screen. And that's what it just did. We are going to do another one, go to another sheet, and Control shift t shows the IDs for the standard toolbar. Control shift t it gives you the standard toolbar, which is the one under Home. Format, Paint, or Undo, Redo, etc. And these are the ID numbers that come with it. That's how you know how to address them by number if you ever need to. And finally we are going to do the last one. Control shift f prints out the first 300 face IDs. 
give that new sheet a name let's say capital a capital a and of course it's another sheet so it gives you that box again and then it prints out 300 ids up to 300 first the number and then next the icon that comes with that number so if you ever want a specific number you can just look at that number and you get a specific icon of your choice this is all done in vba vba is not the easiest language but it's pretty intuitive so I'm going to help you if you need to know more about it and want to get more professional with VBA through this CD-ROM that you can find at genesispc.com. It works for 2013 but also for Excel 2010 or even 2007. It has three modules on it. Each module has 500 slides so altogether it's more than 1500 and they all help you with interaction to test yourself, to learn new things. It comes with a series of files that you can work on and can try all these entries. The basic essentials, including variables and loop statements, formulas and arrays. How do you deal with all those formulas in Excel if you want to do that through VBA? And finally, we, just, we touched on that very basically, buttons, forms, and much more. You can find it at genesispc.com.